Good morning, everybody. Riverside Park is now home to three new natural habitats to protect wildlife and prioritize plant diversity. They're not your typical homes. <laughs> Megan Bunchman is at the park with that. Good morning. These beautiful new homes are just some of many new habitats that have been popping up all over side, all over Riverside Park. And the community officials, well, they want to make sure that you're hearing all the buzz. Have you heard the buzz? Beautiful to look at. Riverside Park just added three new B&Bs to its lakefront property. I think it's adorable and I think it's important to to talk about preser you know, preserving them as opposed to spraying them and getting rid of them. With colorful exteriors and rooms galore, these new pollinator homes are sure to fly off the market. And it's all thanks to a test project from the city's Parks and Rec Department. Our parks are really, really important environmental spaces um, for um, the, the health of the whole city, right? And so really looking to uh, make sure that they are functioning well for both wildlife and plants as well as the residents that are around this park. As the neighboring community comes together to bring beauty and preservation to the north side. We literally moved to this neighborhood because of the park. New bee homes, a pollinator garden, birdhouses, and soon to be installed bat homes are sure to add some pops of color to the lush green foliage on a warm spring day. I think they're adorable. Um, I have a two year old daughter and she loves them. If these habitats are deemed a success, money from the park millage will go towards installing more homes through Riverside Park in the near future. I'm glad they're putting the time and the money into making this a great place because it is like, I think my most favorite park out of all of them. These bee homes are located on the south side of Riverside Park and throughout the park you'll be able to spot and see some of those bird homes and then those bout houses they're going up in Riverside Park later on this fall. Live in Grand Rapids, I'm Megan Bunchman, News 8.